What's up beasties? Melissa from Metals and Pieces here and today we are celebrating a very special day. Now, usually I forget this day completely. And I don't know if other business owners are the same way that they forget this day, but <laughs> today is an important day because today, May 12th, 2021, Metals and Pieces officially turns nine years old. Nine. I can't believe it. Oh my God. Next year, I will have been in business for a full decade. What is shit? <laughs> and that means a full nine years. Well, next year will be a decade. But right now, it means a full nine years of helping women and some men unlock their badass side through amazing jewelry designs. Why? not because it's fun. So I want to take you through a teensy smidge of metals and pieces theory, and then we'll get into a montage that should be either stupid or epic. We'll see. It's like the, it's like, it's like the defining definition of well, defining definition. Wow. Melissa, you can't talk, but it's kind of the story of my life. This is either going to be epic or stupid. And we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> it's how everything works. This could be awesome. This could be really lame. Let's do it anyway. So That'll be our montage afterwards. But I wanted to talk really quick because on um, kind of one of the theories behind metals and pieces, because believe it or not, there is depth of theory. And I literally just got off of a summit interview. So that's strongwomen.live. I will let you guys know more as soon as we get closer. And I got some links for you so you can see that really cool interview that we did. But there is, I do have theory. Uh, when it comes to metals and species, and especially as we move in the direction of focusing a lot more on the bullet jewelry designs, which when I explain this, maybe you'll, if, if you were iffy on the bullet jewelry, you'll love it. And if you already love bullet jewelry, you will love it more. And that is actually the breakdown of a bullet. So for those who are unfamiliar with firearms, there's basically three important aspects to this. And for those who are very familiar with firearms, you're going to be like, well, let's say you're an idiot. Uh, whatever. Okay. Just, just bear with me here. So <laughs> when you look at a bullet that is fired from a gun, shotgun shell, bullet, mortar casing, I don't care what it is. Okay. I don't care if you go old school. Well, cannons don't apply. Never mind. And mortar casings, pro mortars probably don't apply either. So more on the cha-ching. <laughs> kind, okay? The lock and load kind. So there's three components. There is the projectile, which is actually fired out at the target. There is the gunpowder or the propellant, which that stuff explodes, and that's what pushes the projectile down the barrel of your firearm and sends it out towards the target. So that's the ignition. Or that's the propellant. And then you have the casing, which holds everything together. I guess you, you can also argue on here, the fourth part is the igniter. Okay. I'm looking at three things. A casing that holds and contains everything. The propellant and the projectile. This is important, these three things. Because the way that I see it here at Metals and Pieces, we are our own projectiles, okay? What you go out and do in the world, that's your projectile, all right? You have a propellant, which in this case is not gunpowder, but what sends you out into the world? What is your attitude? What are your beliefs? What are your ambitions and goals? Those are the propellant, okay? That send you out into the world to fulfill your mission, whatever said mission may be. The mission might just be, I'm going to be happy. The mission might just be, I'm going to try a new restaurant. The ambition might be, I'm going to change the world. Whatever your ambition is, okay? You have a set of beliefs, of feelings, of ambitions that propel you towards that goal. And then there's the casing. And the casing holds everything together, okay? The casing holds the propellant. It holds the projectile. And only once that propellant is ignited, so something impassions you to act, are you projected, are you sent out into the world to do your thing, all right? When a gun is fired, 
spark hits the powder or concussion, whatever hits the powder, sends out the bullet or sends out the, the projectile, which is the real, that, that, that's the actual bullet part. The casing is then rejected out of the gun. It's sent out and they lay on the floor a lot. Depending on the range you have, they sweep them up. Maybe they pick them up. I know when I go to our local PD and they let me know when they have qualifiers, I go in the next day and I bring a rake, a shovel, and a five gallon pail and I pick casings off the range like other people pick seashells off the seashore. That's me. Everything got started by seeing these rejected casings. Or not reject, but eject. These ejected casings, all right? When I was out with my dad that fateful Wednesday summer evening, I can't tell you when it was, I don't remember, but I remember the night. And he took me out to the range and we went shooting for the first, like, official time. And I utterly failed. <laughs> We went through 50 plus birds, which are these little like clay orange targets. We went through 50 plus birds. And at the end of the night, I had successfully hit three. Now I will say when you successfully hit a clay bird and it goes, <laughs> that exact sound effect, kind of picture the Death Star exploding, but on micro scale. <laughs> it's really fantastic feeling really successful feeling like ooh, I did that that was flying through the air and I said something else flying through the air and they intersected my happened maybe that's just me <laughs> but anyway so I'm there that night utterly failing kind of succeeding but really failing and we reached the end and I'm looking at the ground and it's like oh we have all of these shotgun casings hang on let me grab one for you to see Okay, so I guess you guys are going to see this one. This is what I had in quick, easy reach because most of them sit in the in the shop. This is an estate. Estate is the manufacturer, and you can see it has on here, if I can get it to focus on that instead of me. Okay, so it's got 12s and stars on here, alternating. The 12s for 12 gauge, the star for estate. So you can see here, this is a spent casing. Usually, when you see for shotgun shell, this is all like crumpled in and whatnot because you load it into the shotgun, something hits the primer right here, explodes, and then whew, your sea of BBs come out. But I saw a bunch of these laying on the ground and I was picking them up. And dad goes, no, Mel, you don't need to do that. That's the job for the people who are actually members of the gun club. They're supposed to pick up the casings. I was like, okay, well, what do they do with them? Because I'm looking at all this basically litter on the ground at that point. And he goes, well, I don't know. Some people reload, sometimes they get junked. Sometimes I knock pliers off the desk, all that fun stuff. And I'm looking at it and I'm going, well, this is kind of cool. Like that's, that, that's really pretty. The States are very pretty. Uh, Remingtons and Winchesters I love more, but I was like, that's really pretty uh, on the edge there. I was like, you think we could do something with that? And he goes, well, what in the heck do you want to do with that? Dad, I've been shooting all his life. <laughs> and I go, well, that's really pretty. Um, this is really cool. This, this would be a neat way to recycle. Um, what do you think? You, you think we can do some jewelry off of this? And Badass Brass was born in that moment. Now, why do I tell you this story? Why do I break down Peace of Ammunition so heavily? Because this is representative of you. It's representative of me. So, I, what I put out into the world is the projectile that flew out into the world. My beliefs that everyone has an inner badass that they can unlock, that they can use to find true happiness and success and all the answer to all the ambition in the world, that, that, that's the propel, that's the gunpowder, but it's all held within a casing. And that casing is the jewelry that I put out in the world. So this is what holds the ambition. This is what holds the projectile and allows it to be unleashed. Because if there was no casing, then the gunpowder would be everywhere and we'd have a whole bunch of bullets that aren't going anywhere. We'd have a whole bunch of targets that aren't being hit and obliterated and smashed and conquered. So my purpose with the bullet jewelry, like the necklace I'm wearing, like the earrings that I'm wearing, which are not actually available on the website. The necklace, so this is my favorite. This is my favorite, the Celtic shot. These are representative of what is held within you. 
they are representative of the passion and the ambition that is held within you. They are representative of the badass that you can be if you allow yourself to ignite. So with that, happy birthday, medals and pieces, happy nine years, looking forward to 10 next year, and happy day to everyone who is unleashing their mission upon the world. All right, Beastie, so nine years in, I can't wait to see what else we were able to unleash upon the world in the powers of good. But let's start with taking a look back. Let's cue the montage. I'll talk to you later, Beastie. Bye!